So we've got Chris Hanfield. Right there, it says his name. Three out of the four of them are dead. Oh. That's kind of Don't wish him me. the Yeah, answer. exactly. He was in the wrong spot. He didn't, that's not, that's not right. If he goes down, it's your fault. It is your fault. <laughs> Hey weirdos, we're back at Pumpkins After Dark, year number three, 2024. Yay. Come with us as we check it out. It's gonna be fun. It's all new pumpkins this year. Let's see. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's, Let's go. Let's see what they've done. I guess we'll just go down. Sure. Hey, over here. All right. Who got a bracelet? It goes in the dark. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, ah. I there we go. I feel like it's oh, what happened? This is kind of, this is great for kids. No. <laughs> uh, uh, can't do it. <laughs> no, you just can't not do it. No. Oh, because the bar is moving too. Oh it's shaking, that's not fair. Oh, it's tough. Here, you can try it, because it's tough. It is shaking uncontrollably. Yeah, it's going to be tough. <laughs> Can't do it. Trail's different, we're not going through the woods. Amazing, incredible. You've been doing this the last couple years, haven't you? Yeah, I think I told you last year. Amazing. The two of you, right? Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. Bone appetite. <laughs> Get it? Oh, skeleton bone. Oh, 
slice? Yeah. <laughs> and there's koi fish. I liked it last year when it was like jack skeleton and stuff. I mean, it's pretty. can't see it back there, but behind the dragon, there's a really pretty gazebo. They should have yes. put something in there and lit it up. It would have right. been really cool. Use the nature around you. <laughs> I don't think gazebo is nature, but it's <laughs> made from nature. It's an element in nature. It's made from nature. It's considered a tree still? Yes. <laughs> so far, the path has been a less, they changed it to be less crazy, but it could get so worse So far, so here. good, absolutely. It could get more up here, though. Dicey. What's crazy is, and maybe we're on a slightly different path bef than before, but I don't think so. I don't remember the gazebo here the last two years. Maybe it was covered up. I think we started over there more. You'll probably yeah. start recognizing the path. That's true. But it would have been cool to do something in that gazebo for sure. Yeah. Also, flamingos. Oh, those are amazing. Those are very Halloween. <laughs> they didn't listen. The classic. Well, hey, last year in they... Florida, you've got Halloween flamingos. <laughs> sure. <laughs> some uh, Halloween flamingos. You know what, to be honest, it is, that, is that any different than Halloween elephants? The flamingos stand out and they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And they look it. Yeah, I don't know. They should have put some, like, a witch hat on them or something. Because <laughs> they would have made them a little bit better. Okay. So we got some classic Looney Tunes here. I'm gonna keep talking so we don't hear that music, but we've got Elmer Fudd, Daffy. What's that? Who's that in the middle? The oh, the Roadrunner. Road Runner. I couldn't see it from a minute. Wild Coyote and Bugs Wild, Bunny. Yeah, the classics. Yeah. That is really sensational. So they're using the Terry Fox route route this year, which is probably better for people to it's, walk on. It's fantastic because they've yeah. also added in lights. So this this was never here no. the last couple of years. So this is really all helpful. the things I and complained the about is so much smoother. Are happening? Yeah, Love all it. the things I complained about are happening. Look at that! They separated the two legends from the rest of the peanuts. I saw that.
You know what it reminds me of? It's, you know, like the dinosaurs that are made out of like the little bits of wood? Mm -hmm. Looks like those wood sculptures. Yeah. Or models. Don't fall. What I do love about the fact that they're doing the whole Jurassic Park thing is they've got it in a field. So it's nice and spread out. It's like that amazing shot. So many zombies. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what was missing last year. This has got mood, it's got dimension. They didn't play club music over it. No club music. Sounds like me in the morning. We're already um, getting uh, attacked by zombies. Yeah, they sound disgusting. Well, is a dinosaur eating someone? That's true. <gasps> dinosaurs and zombies in a movie. Ooh, zombie dinosaurs? That could be something good. That could be. That could be. Oh my gosh, that's good. We're lucky because we're here late and it's not as busy, but I imagine if it was a little crowded, it could still be could running be into, problem, it run into some problems. But overall, vast improvement. Wow, all classic little... Is this Hotel monster. Transylvania? Or something? They're good though. They're very good. I thought I, would just, I thought I would just stop and do a couple reps. I feel like blast out. Some... People are gonna try to get on this. And yep. also I had no idea there was an exercise equipment in the park. Yeah. You know on a busy night. Oh yeah. This is gonna get messed up. Yep. They know this For is sure. gonna happen. Which is why there's folks here to monitor. It's a maple leaf, but I'm trying to decide if is it's like all of, all inside of... the maple leaf? No, I think that's a lighthouse. I, I think that's like but... It's, it's Tell like, me that doesn't look like a Dalek. It, it does kind of look like a Dalek, <laughs> you nerd. Yes, but also so, there's fish down at the bottom. Like, I think it's representing all of Canada from coast to coast. Canada has Daleks. Well, we Canada do. has British backgrounds, so... Uh, it, it works. There's a Dalek. There. all levels. What Historically else and nerdly. I never thought to do a carve a pumpkin with a maple leaf just in it like that. That's really cool. That is nice. We should be doing that more. That, we should. It looks really pretty, and it's fall, too. Oh, we got, it's quieter over here, which is great. Ah, here we go. We got Terry Fox on the Terry Fox uh, circuit. Ah, is that an astronaut? It is. That's uh. Can you guess him as a Canadian? What's this pickle's name? I can't remember That's his name. That's his name, what's his pickle? Yeah, what's the pickle? We got Terry Fox, who's that guy. I want to say that's Stompin' Tom. What's about the other guy? And then uh, the fellow from Tragically Hip. Oh, he's right. And then the astronaut. That's I, the guy who's saying, um... Yeah. 
the David Bowie song in space. And I'm terrible with names. Where's Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Out of the four of them are dead. Oh. That's kind of. Don't wish him. Me. Yeah, that. exactly. We were in the wrong spot. He didn't. That's not. That's not right. If he goes down, it's your fault. It is your fault. After dark. <laughs> we like Chris. Yeah. He sings amazing stuff in space. There's Michael Bublé. Hey, there's the boobs. <laughs> Burnaby's own Michael Bublé. Not Burnaby's own the weekend. Some, uh, Michael Bublé. Drake. The Beebs and Avril Lavigne. Well, Beebs is serenading us. We've got the crew from SCTV, so including John Candy, Joe Flaherty, Bob and Doug, Dave Thomas, and uh, Rick Moranis. No, not Rick Moranis, Martin Short. And her name, I forget. See, this works right here. We've got the Canadian entertainers, and then if you just pan over, you see Chris Hatfield. That now feels okay. You know, because he sang in space. I tried to walk a little fast. But you know what? This is where I nearly fell last year. Well, you know what? It's the path is, is so better. better. Yeah, it's great. Is that that the maze? <laughs> Love it. There's smoke coming out of the skull. Oh, these are tremendous. Oh, it's the it's the gang, buddy. Oh my god, did you just find Scooby-Doo? Yes, I did. Oh, I gotta abandon my filming plans and film Scoobs. Zoiks! I see him. So now. we got Fred. We got... We got Fred. Velma. We got Daphne. Shaggy. Scoob. And I'm gonna say Old Man Withers from the amusement park. This is better. Legends. I'm actually not sure who the first dude is, but the next one's Sidney Crosby, and then uh, the great one himself, Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Gordy Howe, Guy Lafleur, and then ah, oh, damn it, who's that? I don't remember. Who's your what favorite? The player or favorite pumpkin carving? Favorite player, and then pump it covering. Okay, uh, I mean, it's hard to deny Wayne Gretzky because he was the greatest of all time. However, Guy Lafleur had the best hair, and he apparently was a big smoker. Was he? Oh, yeah. 70s were a different time, my friend. Some of the pumpkins make it look like they have soccer balls behind them. <laughs> oh, I see it, yeah. I mean, they're all pretty good. If you know in the comments who this is, Please let me know because I cannot remember. It looks like a Philadelphia Flyers uniform. 
I want to say Bobby Clark, but I didn't know he was, is he Canadian? Let Can me know. Now you're just making me upset. Why? Why would you not put Chris Hatfield with the other astronauts? I know, right? They had to duplicate them, put them in there twice. Do they I not? see one, two, three, four Chris Hatfields. And now I can go home without crying. That one's got a skateboard on oh, the bottom sick. of his feet. Did he skateboard in space? Did uh, the Canadian just do it a skateboard? Sure, hope so. I'm not sure what are you skateboarding at gravity? It's not, yeah, that's not even be pointless. Oh, oh we got gosh. some aliens. What do we got over here? Is this aliens fighting each other? I don't even know, man. I mean, that's definitely aliens from Alien, but I don't know who, is it Prometheus? I'm confused. I mean, I guess that's what it is. I guess it's the, oh, there was a new alien movie though, right? With some big tall dude? Yeah. My, my alien, I feel like my nerd cred for aliens is, is, is not, I'm not fulfilling my destiny right now. Look at all the cool smoke. That's, you know what? There's genius in the simplicity of it all. Mm -hmm. That this might be the best year, but they still don't have the macaroni cheese truck. Yeah, fair point. There's uh, Ninja Turtles. I feel like there were Ninja Turtles before, but these are different. And these they seem really good. They might be really recarved. Good. Pardon? They might be recarved. Yeah. And I believe this guy's a part of Ninja Turtles too, I think. That's a, uh, oh, oh. Like Shredder or something like that? Yeah.
And that brings to a close Pumpkins After Dark in Burnaby 2024. Yeah, and they approved a bunch of things. Really good like, The path is good. There's pack lights. The very thing I was complaining about last year. So much better. Kind of like, solved. I like all yeah. the pumpkins this year. It's really good. It's fantastic. Totally worth coming this year. Best year yet. Best come year yet. Come and check it out. Definitely uh, come in here. Bring, bring the family. Bring, bring everyone. Give yourself a lot of time. Because yes. we came at 8 this time, which was a good time. But it's, we're still running out of time. We only have like 30 minutes left. Right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time. Goodbye, humans. Bye.